Um, our next talk is quotas for projects. It's a proposed new feature. Uh, it's one that Indiana University would smile upon for sure. Um, our speaker is Suichi Ihara. Uh, he's a senior systems engineer uh, and high performance file systems at DataRect Networks. Ladies and gentlemen, Suichi Ihara. Good afternoon, everyone, again. So, uh, so this talk about uh, the quota, new type of the quota for the project. Uh, quota in general is the most basic but uh, very useful and powerful the storage management mechanism. Uh, Rasta also support, has been supporting the quota a long years ago, uh, since Rasta 1.4, maybe. And uh, cluster, cluster support cluster wide the user and the group quota, and it's very scalable today. Uh, recently, the quota code clean up uh, and update in the Rasta 2.3. Uh, the other hand, so Rasta, the use, ca use case is expanding out of the HPC or other area. So in that case, some of the use case, so user and group quota doesn't work. So the project, for example, the project-oriented file or directory, uh, right. So what is a project? So what is a quota for a project? So if we can assume, so number of the, the people, a number of the people group, then some of the people that belong to the specific project, the other people that belong to the another project, uh, then the administrator creating the specific project directory, then the people is writing or creating the, the specific project, project directory. But finally, the administrator really want the make a quota per project, not the user and the group. So in this use case, the, the user and the group quota doesn't work, doesn't help. So, so Lustre has the OST pool. So why not OST pool doesn't help? Uh, if we, can make, we can make a specific OST pool with the number of the OST, then we can assign to the OST pool to a specific directory for project. However, so this is not a quota. Uh, so some use case may be work, but most of the case it doesn't work. Because, so this is the size limitation only happen so by number of the OST and times, you know, uh, OST size. So, and also, if the number of the OST is, is less, and a small number of OST in, for the OST pool, so we see significant performance impact because the number of OST is, is small. Then finally, if we have the real OST pool, for example, the SSD with the SSD, then administrator wanted the, the SSD pool for the both project, so we cannot control the size for per, pro, per project. So the quick summary of the project quota. So as I said, so Rasta, uh, the use case is growing up, so and the project oriented, the quota control is needed. So uh, user and the group quota doesn't help. Uh, in some of the use case. Uh, then also, the if, if we can make the quota for the small group in the file system, maybe administrator is help to make a capacity planning in the entire storage, in the, field, in, in the storage drive. Uh, the XFS, this is not a parallel file system, this is a local file system, but uh, it support the per directory or a per project oriented quota. On the GPFS, this is another parallel file system. Uh, it also support the file set based quota. This is a similar idea of the project quota. So uh, unfortunately, uh, ext4 or LDSKFS is, is so direct, doesn't support the per directory or per project based quota. A uh, few years ago, the subtree quarter the patch for the ext4 is deposited, but uh, unfortunately, it's not merged yet. 
So uh, I wanted to introduce a little bit about the, today's the quarter in the roster. So the, the quarter uh, roster is uh, the distributed file system. So we need to think about the, the quarter for the, the cluster-wide the quarter mechanism. So there are the two the big component in the roster quarter. So one is a quarter slave. So all of the OST and the MDT are quarter slave. So they are checking the local, the, the quarter space and the quarter accounting, and uh, talking to a uh, quarter master to acquire or release the quarter space. The quarter master, this is a centralized server, and uh, keeping the cluster wide, the quarter limit. And uh, the quarter master is also checking the global quarter limit, and the limit is exceeded or not. Then it's also the tracking the all of the, the quarter usage of the thread, the OST and the MDT. And uh, the quarter is also accounting so how much the quarter space is so granted, already granted to the thread. So these of the, the stuff is uh, the quota master responsibility. Uh, this is the data flow of the quota architecture in today. So when client to writing the data on the OST, for example. So OST is a estimate, so how much space is needed to operate to for the client access. So if the OST has enough of the space, so the OST responds to, responds to the client, the client can write the data to OST. So OST doesn't have enough of the space, so OST talk to the client, the uh, 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 quarter master, MDT, to acquire the additional space. Then quarter master calculate, so how much already the you know, space is granted to the quota thread, then it's not, the quota, is, quota limit is not exceeded, then quota master uh, responds to quota thread to grant it the additional quota space. Then finally, the client continue to write to the OST. <coughs> uh, so this is, so new quota type project. So we started this project a few months, uh, several months ago. Uh, so there is a couple of requirement to do to implement. So the basically we should integrate the new new type of the quota integrated into the current quota quota framework. So of course, so we so the idea is the basically quota for additional new account, a new ID, as well as the, today's the UID and the GID. It's the same idea. Then we also support, of course, support the block and the inode quarter, and uh, we also support the hard, hard limit and the soft limit. That is uh, today's the user and the group quarter raster has. Then the quarter has, uh, raster has the command line interface to control the quarter limit, the, or check the quarter, quarter size. Uh, so we expand the command line interface to support the new additional quota type project. Uh, the compatibility, this is very important because the uh, old version the, doesn't know the new type of the quota. So we have to the, care about the, the compatibility. Of course, then the performance is really important. So we need to avoid the significant the performance, the regression after the adding the quota, new, new type of the quota. So there is a the couple of the subtasks so we are working on. Uh, so the today's raster quota, so we have done already the cleaning up the today's raster code. Uh, this is nothing about the new future, uh, new functionality, but uh, this is really important for adding the new type of the quota in the future. Because, so right now, uh, the today's raster code only recognize on the user on the group quota. And there are some of the, the hard-coded stuff. 
So we remove, so uh, this activity, so we remove the hard coded stuff, then clean up the today's roster quota code. So once we, this work is done, so we, we have the additional the task on top of the, this, the clean up the roster quota code. So we need to uh, additional uh, quota accounting in the OSD layer, the GFS and the LSKFS. And also we need to, we need to uh, enhancement of the raster row because we need to keep the additional, additional ID into the raster row, the project ID. Then finally, updating the user space utility to support the, for the additional type of the quota. So clean up the work. Uh, so as I say, the current quota calls so only recognize UID and the GID mostly. So this is not only the last site itself, but uh, ext4. Uh, Linux kernel as a user space utility, for example, the e it's FS blogs. So these of the stuff, so we need to, all of the stuff need to be the clean up and uh, update to, to be more extensible in the future, for the future. So we finished the work. So we already, the, we made a clean up the patch for of the it's FS blogs. Then we, we pushed the patch to the ext4 community already. So Andreas is help a lot for uh, the code review process. Then we also the, made a clean up the patch for Rasta itself. Then we also the, the pushed the, the patch into Intel uh, Rasta community for review. So in order to support the project or uh, project quarter in the Rasta, so we really need to additional accounting in the local file system. Uh, as I said, that today the EXT4, there, there's no, the, the, there's only support the UID and the GID, the best quarter. And uh, there's some discussion about the supporting the project quarter in EXT4 itself. But then the recently the RFC has come up, but it's still still under the discussion. Not the made, not yet the make a decision yet. So then, a few years ago, the subtree based patch for the EXT4 is posted. Uh, so unfortunately, this is not merged uh, in the mainstream of the EXT4. However, so, so we are now working on the prototype of the project quota. So we, are, we took the dispatch, then clean up, then adapt to the Red Hat 6 kernel for, for, for Rasta server. So uh, we are now using the dispatch for the prototype. Because uh, let, uh, EXT4 doesn't have you know, any type of the, uh, any the project or uh, directory type of the quota. Uh, GFS, so we didn't much the investigate it yet, but uh, it seems to be that GFS, GFS is support the similar idea of the subtree based quarter, as well as the GUID, uh, GU, GU user and group based quarter. So uh, in the future, so we have a, look, have a look at the GFS, the support for the project quarter. So the other big, big challenging so the managing of the project. Uh, so this is a new concept of Rasta. So new type, new term of the Rasta for the for, for Rasta. So it's likely uh, user the today's the user password password file or the group file, but uh, we have to manage uh, the project name, the project ID, and the associated what associate of associated with you know, the file or directory. So what is related to this project, for example. So we, we think the couple of the option to implement this to the project management. Uh, one of the simple option, so using the OST pool name, OST pool name as a project name. So unfortunately, 
So today's the OST pool doesn't keep the OST, uh, pool ID, but if we can add the additional ID, the unique ID uh, of the raster log file for as a pool ID, then we can use the pool ID and the pool name as a project name, project ID. So this is a simple way to do, but so we need to think about uh, more, more careful about the compatibility because the previous, the old raster version doesn't have, you know, the pool ID, but now have, so uh, it's broken. So we need to think about more detail. But uh, this is very easy to do. Then OST pool can manage the project name and the project ID and uh, as well as the traditional OST pool. So the other option, so developing the whole, the project name or project ID and management me mechanism. So store a project ID and the project name into the raster row as a new, as a new functionality. Then we can also create the new, the management, the, inter, the command line interface to manage the project and OST, uh, project ID. That is uh, today's the OST pool hub. So we need to additional database, so the project ID and the project name, and so which file or which directory is associated with a specific directory. So uh, this is a little bit complicated, but uh, probably the less the compatibility issue. Maybe there are another option, the good option in the future, maybe. Uh, prototype, so, so as I said, we started the pro the making the prototype of the quota of the project. So because uh, the conceptually the project, project quota is a little bit complicated. Uh, so in order to make the project quota, so we, we took a subtree patch for ext4. Then we now support the, the subtree, subtree the quota with LDSK FS. Then we created, so we, we developed some of the, the project quota on top of the ext4 uh, LDSK FS with a patch. Then the, pool, uh, the project management, so I, I said, as I said, the two options right now. So, so we, we, we choose the one of the simple option, adding the new, the pool ID. Uh, then we also use the pool, pool ID and the pool name as a project ID, project name. So, so right now it's just a prototype, so uh, we need to much care about the compatibility, but just make sure the functionality or you know, concept is works or not. Then, but we, we support the full functionality uh, of the project quota, but still based on the LDSK FS with patch. Well, in the future, uh, after the make a prototype, then some of the design change happen, but we, most of the code the, are reusable, even the, the design change. So this is the uh, data flow, the prototype, the setting the pool ID. Uh, so when the client open the file, so MDS, the, so MDS, the uh, look up the inherited pool attribute, then take uh, the, uh, from the, the parent directory, then MDS can check, so the pool name, then also also check also understand the pool ID from the uh, that is a, we add the new functionality. Then finally the MDS keep the pool ID as a project name into the raster oh, uh, into the uh, MDT uh, a metadata of the as a extent attribute. Then the client. When client send the data to OSS, the OST, the first uh, client know the pool ID because uh, so it's stored into the raster log file. Then the client can send the pool ID in the RPC as well as the data. 
Then once the OST, the get the data, uh, it's a lookup, the, the pool ID, then the OST is stored into the, uh, the pool ID into the object as a, a project ID. So this is a workflow, uh, data flow, the quota stuff. This is exactly the same of the today's uh, user and group quota does. Uh, when client send to the RPC, the OSS, then the client, the uh, OSS is look up the, the project ID, the pool ID from the extent attribute of the object. Then the OST, the check, so the space is enough for the specific the project, project ID. Then if the OST has enough space, so OST response, OST the right of data into the OST. If the OST doesn't enough, doesn't have enough of the space, so, MD, so OST the talk to the quota master MDS to, to acquire the additional space. <coughs> Then finally, then MDS check the how much the how much the space is already granted to uh, OST with a specific uh, project ID. Then still not the quota is not exceeded. Uh, the MDT uh, MDT allocate the additional the space for OST. Then finally OST continue to write to the data to object uh, into the OST. So prototype status. So we the most of the code the quant component is done. So we clean up the refresh the subtree quarter patch. Who then now support the ext4 and the ldscapes. Then we also done the ext uh, itfs progs the clean up work. Then we also done the clean up the raster quarter stuff as well. Then we, we expected the, the prototype is available at the end of the, this month, but uh, uh, the, couple of the, the couple of weeks, the last couple of weeks, so there we have the great uh, progress. Then finally, the so prototype is ready now. So uh, it now supports the full functionality, as well as uh, the, we have support uh, user space, updated the user space utility, LFS, the quota <coughs> command. Uh, we, ju we just started the testing uh, with a prototype, but uh, as I said, so we added a new the pool ID, then we also changed the uh, raster log, the format, to, uh, to add the additional pool ID. So we need to think about the, more, uh, the compatibility issue later, but uh, right now, without a compatibility issue, it's working well. So all of the, the project stuff, the all, all of the project is a, so we open the ticket, the 4017, so you can see the all of the progress on, on here, on there. So this is a one of the example, so, so we tested the last week, so how to use the, the project quota with a prototype. So, so most of the stuff is uh, today's the, the quota, the user and the group quota is the same. So you can, you can enable the quota. Uh, we have the additional the option, the P option, the project. So user and the group and the project. You can turn on the, the, you can turn on the quota. Then you, you also need to create the, the pool, the OST pool to manage the project. Then assign to the specific the pool to the specific directory. Then finally you can you can set the quota to the specific the pool. So we tested the the quota exceeded. So we run the some the make the quota limit. Then writing the the sum of the file. Then we 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 got to the quota exceeded. Uh, hit the hard limit option. A uh, hard the quota hard limit. It works well. Our future work, so we really need to think about the compatibility with the older version Russell. So right now, L-Log is changed 
to add the new additional Blue ID. Then disk format also changed because we need to the keep the additional ID into the object, the OST side. Then quota control API also updated. The wire format is also updated. Then the, after that, uh, the cluster metadata, DNA. So we also support the DNA option. And the DFS work, so this is the additional the OSD, the OSD option. So we need to support the uh, GFS for project quota. Then summary, so uh, we designed the new, we designed the new type of the quota for project. So once we, this, uh, this quota type is available, so many the use cases is available as well. Then the one of the prototype version is available now. So, uh, so all of the patch, so you can download, then you can, you can test, so you are test cluster. Then, so we are really appreciated that your feedback or comment or suggestion. Thank you very much. Um, you restrict the project to a certain pool, and within that pool, then the, the, the quota for this project for the files are, are managed. In other words, a, a poor man's approach would be to, to uh, create a pool now, uh, in a standard cluster uh, installation, and uh, um, uh, restrict, say, put, put a certain directory for, the, for this new project onto this pool, and if the people fill this pool up, then it's their problem, and they have exceeded their quota. So it's, I mean, uh, so, so right now, so this is a prototype version, but uh, it's, it's the idea is uh, the quota for the project. The quota for the right now is a quota for the the OST pool. So if you have the the many the directory, then associated with the one of the, the OST pool. So you can you can use the project quota for the directory quota, but you can also use the project not the directory, but uh, you know distribute the you know, same level of the tree, the directory tree. So uh, it doesn't matter. So it's uh, the directory tree or not node. But, but uh, the, the point is, so which the directory associating with the OST pool. So you, you can manage the, the directory, uh, or this, this, this directory is associating the this pool that you can assign to the, the, the quota, quota size for the specific the OST pool. So, so it works a directory quota, and without a directory code. Thank you. Hi, I, I'm afraid that it won't work well with ZFS, because actually ZFS has, has um, no per directory quota, but per data set quota accounting. Right. And we Luster store all the, all the files in the same data set, right? Right. So it will be difficult to port as is to ZFS. Uh, yeah, so that is, uh, we are also afraid. So uh, we didn't much, didn't see the ZFS work yet, but uh, yeah, so as you I said. Th I think you will have to, well, we will have to implement some accounting uh, for, for the ZFS, ZFS side. Probably. Yeah. Okay, thank you.